Yo, it's your girl Cash Page, and I am making chicken tenders and fries on Follow My Recipe right now. Well, to clean my chicken, I use lemon and vinegar. That really just makes the chicken, you know, healthy for us to eat. <laughs> Get another bowl and place the flour. I like my food like spicy. I like Cajun food, so I'm gonna always make sure it's a little twangy to it. Nice. Then use garlic powder. I don't know if y'all are familiar with noodles, but the same ingredients I'm putting on this chicken is the same ingredients I'm putting on noodles. Now this is the damn thing right here for sure. You gonna go ahead and pop that open. You get it spicy, you know what I'm saying? A little bit spicy. Make sure some taste to it. See, with salt, you gotta be very fragile because you, you put too much, the whole dish ruined. So, let's be cautious. All right, all right, all right, all right, that's enough. Then, the hot sauce. I put hot sauce on my chicken, just so it can always keep that spice to it. This should be looking nasty, I swear. Sorry to the chickens that was cut up to make this episode. All right. Oh, this shit smell good in the hoe. All right, and we're back. So I'm about to fry this chicken. You know what I'm saying? I gotta stay away a little bit. All right, all right, all right. It was pretty gentle this time. So, during the process of as you're frying, you just move it around a little bit, you know? I don't know when to flip it. I just know when to flip it when it starts looking crunchy on the other side type shit. I'll never put it on a timer. But it's probably gonna take a little minute, no cap. Sometimes I feel like pressing down really don't be doing shit. Like, I feel like I just be pressing down on meat, bro. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to make sure it's fried so my people can eat it. I mean, I'm from, you know, I'm from Dallas, so we got some called Rudy's. If my chicken not looking like Rudy's, it's not my chicken. It's not my chicken, like, at all. As you can see, the chicken's almost done. It's getting a little bit, you know, fried how I like it. All right. All right, relax, relax, relax. We're gonna let those cook some more because they're looking naked. So, this is where shit gets scary. <laughs> you have to be really careful with fries, bro. Like, uh, ah, shit. I just burnt the fuck out of my damn I think that's enough. So with the grease, you don't put too much grease, too, or too less grease. All right, all right. probably enough right there. So when you're making fries, you gotta make sure you don't burn them, or they don't get like crunchy looking. But when they start getting golden brown, you know you're doing something right. You know they about to hit. And when you hide, they damn show up in the hit. You know what I'm saying? So let me take these bitches off this hoe for we be eating black fries. Y'all see that? Crazy. Yeah. My fucking arm hurt. <laughs> oh, God. No, really. Look at the flick of the wrist. So with fries, you can't do too much or too less, but people like their fries sometimes salty and some people don't. So it's just like, with this one, I'm just gonna do halfway. So, ah, oh shit, that look like a lot. No cap. All right. Damn, how the fuck y'all do the peppers? Is this? I don't do this shit in Texas. All right, and then I'm gonna put some Cajun seasoning on it. Not a lot, but it's there chicken tenders. So with the chicken tenders, I'm just gonna put pepper and then I'm gonna put Cajun seasoning. And that's pretty much it. You can't really do too much with this. Yo, this is Cash Page and I just cook chicken tenders and fries on Follow My Recipe. Y'all go fuck with Cinematic, man. We finna dig in. I see. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! Look, wow! Look. Perfect, bro. Now, this is how actually good it's gonna be. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Delicioso.